So should we run through some of the things that an assessor might have to do as part of that role? That's a really good idea. So first of all, teaching. Mm. They'd probably be a teacher. Okay. Um, understanding and applying standards. Yep. Planning assessments. Communicating assessment requirements to uh, to candidates. Yeah, and, and then also carrying out the assessments. Um, comparing evidence with the standards. So once they've recorded some evidence statements, need to just check that those do meet the standards. Yeah, that's key. Uh, making assessment decisions. Mm -hmm. Writing those decisions down. Yeah, recording them. Mm -hmm. Providing feedback yeah. to the learner positive, constructive, and also the not so good feedback too. Yeah, so developmental or yes. things they can do to improve if they've not been successful. Take part in standardisation activities. That's absolutely key because mm. you're not alone in this process. Mm. So if you're new, if you're a new assessor, you, you're not quite sure about the levels and the standards and whether you've met them or not. Working with other assessors and just, your IV and too. your IV to make sure you've made your decisions correctly. Yes. Um, identifying further training and development that be needed for the candidates if they have. Um, haven't done as well as what you'd hoped they mm -hmm. would do. Um, and countersigning the judgments of other assessors sometimes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's quite a long list. It is rather. <laughs> <laughs> so where can I go for help or who can I go to for help yeah. um, with, with some of the things on that list? Yeah, because that was quite an extensive list of things. Um, primarily it's your IV. Mm -hmm. Your IV is your support mechanism. And that's your internal verifier. Yeah, that's right, mm -hmm. yes. Um, other assessors. Mm -hmm. And we also mentioned the standardisation meetings mm -hmm. that will be organised by your IV. That's a great place mm -hmm. to sort of, to use as a support mechanism, mm -hmm. really. And you've got your documentation, of course, so yes. handbooks, again, to go back to the, the standards or the syllabus to make yes. sure you're fully aware of what candidates need to be doing to, yes. meet, to meet them. Yes. 